everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. Let's check this car out. Before we move ahead, if you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any suggestions, make sure to write it down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to like. Anyway, let's start with the front look. So, front look, if you have seen the Wrangler before, this is pretty much the iconic shape which which has been just continued throughout and this is by the way the 2020 jeep wrangler the sahara version which is a four-door version and the, this is a particularly the unlimited edition so starting off with the front you get this big bumper which is the, so the design itself first tells you that it's it's made to do anything and you see behind me there is desert and I have gotten this car particularly to test it in the desert because we are in UAE so the the the, the, the front looks very mean if you see this you got this big chunky bumper which is directly connected to the chassis you get fog lamps underneath you get the iconic grill out here and these these super cool headlights at night they are just brilliant they 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 just throw light like boom everywhere you get these uh these uh these openers for your bonnet so there is no latch inside or a button inside to open the bonnet you get these these uh these sort of hooks that you have to un unhook and then open the bonnet and also you get these daylight running lights and also your uh, side indicators and also there is underneath like a like a plate that goes underneath so that when you're doing off-roading you don't scrape your your chassis or anything also in the front you get this big glass i'm pretty sure this glass folds down because i can see the hinges out there and these are your washer sprays moving on the sides you get 18 inch uh, aluminium rims which are polished and they are colored in the graphite sort of spokes in the middle and also the jeep badging which has been colored in the graphite color and these tires are thick and huge and they are all terrain tires so th this car pretty much can do anything and it has been doing since the time i've been testing for sure and also the you get the these badgings around here which is your sahara jeep unlimited uh wrangler unlimited but especially this the trail rated 4x4 now trail rated 4x4 is uh, is a badge which you get if your car can do five things which is go in water which is go in sand which is go uh do the rocky things go on the rock and climb the mountains also go inside the water and sort of at, at, at a certain depth that you can if, if it clears all these things then it gets uh, it it gets this four by four trail rated badge and the wrangler has it and this is a pretty much a confidence giving if you want to buy this car and continuing on the sides you get the side mirrors which are non-power foldable and they have the the side turning signal on the on the on the mirror and also they have the blind spot warning system the 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 doors are in fact removable so there are screws out here if you want to remove them you can pretty much remove the entire body on this car because this car has been made on a body mounted on the chassis so you can pretty much remove any bits on top of this you can remove the headline the the roof you can remove the doors and then you just have the framework around and i'm pretty sure you would have seen all these photos on the internet as well you can remove the rear door as well and look at how how, how thin the doors are but then yet they are just superb like the sound of it oof that is just the raw sound of doors not the, the the modern day doors which have just everything quietened down and at the back again uh, another cool feature uh, is this on the rims if you see you you would find a jeep logo an inscription that they have made a sort of drawing an outline of the jeep that they have put on every rims and the spare wheel as well which is so cool and you get these thick arches by the way when you're driving this car it it makes you feel like this is a very small car but then you have to really focus about uh, these these arches and also this this board to climb inside the the car as well and on the back you get the fuel filler cap you, these panels are again removable so you can pretty much remove these panels and you can make this car completely 
convertible like completely open in the back not much has changed because jeep has maintained the the iconic wrangler design in the in the back as well but only a few things have changed and that is you get now an led tail light cluster which is even your reversing light your turning signal all of it is led you also get a fog lamp uh, which is your led fog lamp and even your headlights are led and they are led projection lights which are are just amazing I mentioned before and at the back you get this this uh, wheel that is being fitted at the back on the rear door and this is also again 18 inch and this is your reversing camera now this is a really cool feature because if the camera was mounted somewhere in the bottom or somewhere on top you wouldn't get the idea of this 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 wheel the distance of uh, in this wheel but Jeep has been very clever and they mounted the camera after the 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 spare wheel which has been mounted to the door so you get the the clear idea of how much space is there behind the car also at the bottom you get this towing hook and also this this winch which if you are going to go for a camping and if you have a caravan that you can you want to attach to this the camping van you can do that as well so there is a very cool way to open the the whole boot of this car so you open first this tiny little door and then you lift this glass and behind you get a ton of space storage space and and this is what i was mentioning about there is a roll cage inside so when you remove all the bits from the car you can still enjoy it as a convertible pretty much semi semi empty car like there's no body on top of it at all so everything is rugged built to last and and even your carpets are pretty rugged and 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 there is a smooth there is no lip by the way so you can easily remove and put your luggage inside as well there is also a, a plate out here mentioned about the jeep and and all its dimensions and everything uh, detail about it and there is a subwoofer in the back which consumes a little space in the back but that is an alpine music system your eight speaker alpine music system and that is so cool and even your seats are collapsible so they fold down in a 60 to 40 ratio now step inside and the first thing that you immediately notice is everything is built to last and check this and I, I mean not in a bad way but then the plastic quality is so good in this and there is this stitching everywhere which is so cool there is there's even the plastic which is soft touch only the the only real problem that i found was the fitting of the plastic in some places where it just sort of comes out if you try to pull a little but otherwise the quality of plastics is amazing everything right from where you touch is just it's just built to last like it's the original wrangler anyways let's just continue with the dashboard first so you get a seven inch uh, led display which can be customizable to show you any sort of uh, uh, information that you want the different settings and then you have the dials on both the sides there is the the the, the turning signals and the the wiper uh, the uh, sticks which are so rugged and even there you can find the quality has been not been compromised and even the steering wheel you have your cruise control and uh, the media controls on your left side and then you have this this big steering wheel and which is quite good in terms of grip there is also stitching and leather cover even the dashboard is leather cover and then in the center you have these two sticks which is one is your gear lever and the other is your uh, the lever so in this the transmission is mechanical so you have to shift into your two wheel drive your low range and all of that and also the four wheel drive automatic or your uh, four wheel drive part time if you want so all of that can be shifted using this lever the gear lever out here and in the in the center you have your uh, opening switches for your windows or all four windows and also the child lock button which is like a rotary button and then there is uh, your ac control in the center which is which is quite simplified and they are buttons by the way ac controls are all in buttons thank god jeep thank god 
and uh, your volume knob and also the AC knob and also the, the other knob is for tuning your radio stations and the entire control for your AC is, is in this, this area and then you go on top and then you find these uh, uh, this 8.5 inch uh, sort of squarish screen which is which is quite weird at first but then when you look at it it's it's fitted quite well and flushed well inside the dashboard as well and this this the screen itself is a multimedia screen so it can display you anything from your uh, uh, AC controls as well even the AC controls are in your touch screen uh, the, the infotainment screen as well but the otherwise the infotainment screen uh, has your Bluetooth connectivity or uh, Android Auto there is also Apple CarPlay there is also Bluetooth there is also aux there is also FM there is there is various other settings that you can change from inside right from your dimming your mirror to watching your, your cameras to to even your smaller things inside the fine tuning of your audio the 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 the, the details inside your menu there is uh, in also the the dashboard the the multi information display that you want you can change the settings for that as well there is also this thick handle out here so this is the there are handles out here and not on the roof but out here on the side so these these handles are when you go off-roading and you may want to hold on to something then there are there are handles pretty much everywhere and so this car comes with eight speaker system and then you have eight speaker and one amplifier and this whole uh, music system is being powered by alpine your carpets are uh, rubber carpets so that when you go off-roading you can easily clean them or you know you know, wash them as well the seats are leather seats and they have these white stitching on the, on it and also the sahara inscription on the seat as well and they are pretty soft for everyday journey they are eight way adjustable you can push it in front back up down and also the recline or decline and also there is a lumbar support which has a knob which you have to turn around to adjust your lumbar support and also for the passenger seat as well now in terms of storage capacity this has very limited storage capacity there is one on top of the dashboard out here to put your maybe phones out here and some smaller things keys and all and also there is uh, these nettings in the uh, in the door bin door cards as well so these nettings uh, you can put some some small paper or a small bottle a half a liter bottle and apart from that there is this dashboard uh, uh, the glove box i'm sorry the glove box storage as well which is tiny to be honest and uh, because they they probably use these uh, this plastic design for some reason and there, is, there are two cup holders in the front and two cup holders in the back and then you get this big the handrest as well which is a two layer handrest so you open the first one and then you can open the big one but that is quite huge now in terms of the the charging plugs you get uh, one usb plug in the in the dashboard one usb plug in the inside the handrest two usb plugs in the back and also there is a plug there is a proper plug where you can put your 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 actual chargers to connect in the back as well and apart from that there is a, an aux uh, connection out here and then there are three usb type c connectors as well which you can use to get this big panoramic sunroof it's not even panoramic but just the roof which slides open and it's a fabric roof so it slides open all the way till the back till behind the rear passenger seat and when you open it during uh, evening times or when the weather is cool uh, it's just so amazing to be traveling in this fun now in the back you get quite spacious seats now if you observed i have opened the 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 roof which is not even panorama roof it's just roof a cloth roof which just slides up uh, out till the back and look at this you can literally see the sky on top and you can just get up as well and enjoy the view not just the front passenger but even the back passenger but overall in the back you can see there is quite a bit of leg space as well and even the seats are uh, shaped like this where you can fit your legs easily in the back the seats are again leather seats with the white stitching even the the the, the door cards are all soft plastic which is really good material as well everything is built
will to last and also netting in the in the in the storage area you get the ac vents as well you get your uh, window controls as well you also get the power outlets in the back which is three power outlets and in the center you see this bar that is going that is your speaker system so there are no speakers in the door card but the speakers are mounted on top in the back you get uh, the handrest as well as i showed you this with a cup holder and also this 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 handrest becomes your uh next up uh, the head support as well in the in the center there is no transmission like the big transmission tunnel that will that is com coming inside the car so the, e even in the center the person can sit quite easily so three people can sit quite easily this car is for five people and i think even the the one who sits in the center is going to be pretty comfortable so let's start basically with the the, the drive because this is what it is all about it's not the interiors not the exteriors nothing it's about how well this car drives and the first thing to mention is that oh, sorry so the first thing to mention is the, the the startup the startup is so cool there is this small Jeep that goes all the way from there up to the other side and it is a very cool way to start off so let's start off with the engine so this car the Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited comes with a 3.6 liter pentastar v6 engine yes it comes with a v6 engine you can hear the raindrops so uh, this is the same engine that has been put in the jeep compass the grand shiroki the jeep grand shiroki it's been put into and uh, because of that this this car produces 283 brake 285 brake horsepower and 353 newton meters of torque when you go off-roading it's it's just the right amount of torque that you need and this car has been mated to an eight speed automatic gearbox and the gear shifts are relatively simple but although sometimes the car takes a little while to just shift into the optimal gear but otherwise it's pretty cool so this car has been fitted with an all-terrain tire so as a result of that the ride is going to be uh, a little on the softer side because they want to get a balance between the 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 off-roading capabilities and the on-road capabilities so as a result of that even the suspension has been set up to have a very soft uh, setup so as a result of that on road it has a little bit of roll I have tested it on the on the rocky terrain I've tested this in the sand I have tested it in the wet as you can see right now and it's been just performing pretty well very well this car has all terrain as I mentioned before and as a result of that the grip is a little compromised during the on road and also the wobbliness there is quite a bit and, and during the road but apart from that I mean the ride comfort is pretty good even the NVH is a little because of the fabric roof on top it's it's a little noisy when you go above 100 so make sure to just figure out where where you want to keep the speed at but it's it, because it's not aerodynamically efficient it's pretty much like us like just the simple shape that goes cutting through the air and that is why there is a softness there is a wobbliness but that doesn't compare to anything what it can actually do in the off-roading conditions and the ride is pretty comfortable when you go off-roading actually you know what let me take you off-roading i am not a, a pro in desert driving i will admit that but this car makes me feel like i know off-roading because it, it just tackles it so well you can see i am literally in the desert right now and i am just doing the desert easter which is sand duning and this is so much fun this is so much fun <laughs> this this is literally the best car to do off-roading better not okay now there are moments where you may think this car won't be able to do but it is going to be surprising you it is very well going to be surprising you <laughs> it keeps slipping around all the time but ah uh, the grip that you get from these tires th these these all-terrain tires is just massive it just compromises for 
the the lack of other things that this car has i mean i mean look at me like cruising in 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 the sand with zero capabilities i mean let me be honest I, this is like the second time i'm doing this the first time was when i was filming the b rolls and that is pretty much it so compared to that i feel like i know quite well and look i am literally doing the bashing stuff now and it is so cool <laughs> the way this car, this this car calculates the grip and the 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 amount of grip required to all your tires and the torque is just fantastic it just is flawless this system isn't hesitant at all to go into any region and that is a big advantage if you are looking to buy this car because i mean let's be honest you don't a jeep doesn't need an introduction when you take it really so look at this everything all mountains literally mountains <laughs> <laughs> this is just fantastic. I mean, <laughs> this is what the Jeep is for. This is what it is. I mean, if you live in in a region like UAE where deserts are ample, where well, this is the car to go for. This is the car. I mean, it really just justifies the 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 track badge that it has got for the 4x4 and it really is a nice car. Anyways, I am just going to be doing this for I can do this for the entire evening even though it is raining even though everything is going on but who cares this car is tackling every single thing with ease. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time to rate this car and to be honest I did not really want to rate this car because this is a very very open sort of fact that you know if you want to go for an off-roader i would genuinely suggest you to go for this car so this car comes with four air airbags it comes with a camera system the camera system is amazing it also comes with your electronic uh, con uh, stability control overall i think this car deserves a good 3.5 out of 5 but you should definitely buy this car if you are an off-roader and if you like to go into the desert into the mountains into the unknowns then this is this is just the right car <laughs> anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come and till then what i am going to be doing is i'm going to be going more dune bashing and i shall see you in the next video <laughs>